even growing up as somebody in North America, as one that's been here since I was two years old, you know, you've been called names in the playground. And for some reason, just over the past year, you've just heard this replay of things that you thought and hope, hope for were in the past. But maybe it's because of what happened to the economy. People have lost their jobs. Obviously, COVID has been horrendous for everybody over the past 12 months. But for the entire community, we're, you know, we're standing up for ourselves finally because Asians have been called the model minority. So we've been silent. We've been taught to not, not cause problems. But I like the fact that it's been galvanized and that we're all getting together. We're all standing as one, hoping for a voice to say, please stop. We're all in this together. We're all Americans as well. And we want to be part of this community. Asian Americans currently make up 6% of the population, but the fastest growing group across America today, also a crucial swing vote. And we have a highly esteemed panel joining us today to participate in this impactful discussion. It's important to tell positive, powerful stories from the Asian American community. So these little kids growing up that they feel empowered, they don't feel othered, and it's okay to look the way you do. And you don't feel different and you don't feel uncomfortable in your own skin. What about typecasting in Hollywood? Do you think with Crazy Rich Asians that's ended? So you can be the leading man, you don't have to know Kung Fu? I don't know if it's ended. I wouldn't say it's that clear cut yet, but I do, I do think there was an awareness. She's done more interviews than a hiring manager at Wendy's, Fox Business Correspondent Susan Lee. My grandpa used to own a convenience store. Mm -hmm. So he was running away from civil war and that was how he made his new life here in yeah. the new land. And when I was little, I didn't know it at the time, but he was actually, he was being robbed. Right. I was a little kid, I didn't know what was happening. He told me to go back into the kitchen and- I remember you know, that day. There.